guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the do's and don'ts of using your iPod Touch or iPhone. First of all, the question everyone wants to know is what is jailbreaking? Jailbreaking is simply unrestricting your device and allowing you to do anything you're not normally allowed to do. By jailbreaking, you are able to access your root files and change things around that you are not normally allowed to do by Apple. What is being tethered mean? It means your device is always going to start up in recovery mode if the device is turned off, your battery dies, or if you restart your device. How to jailbreak your iPod? If you watch my previous video, it'll let you know exactly what you got to do to jailbreak your iPod. Okay, the do's and don'ts. First, make sure you restart your device every few days to clean up your memory and keep your iPod Touch or iPhone running at top speed. Make sure you do a full cycle charge at least once a month. Okay, you may ask yourself, how do I do that? Okay, um, all you got to do is let your device drop below 20% and then let it charge fully using Battery Magic Pro. If you are not jailbroken, you're going to have to buy Battery Magic Pro from the App Store. If you are jailbroken, just, just download it and install it. And Basically, once you drop below 20%, just open up the app and plug it up to your computer or your wall and let it charge. It'll show your percentage as it's charging, and once it reaches 100%, it'll notify you by making a sound. The don'ts. If you want your device jailbroken, do not upgrade to firmware version 3.1.3. If you did upgrade, just simply downgrade back to 3.1.2 and then jailbreak your device. If you are tethered, do not restart your device or turn it off while you're away from the computer because you will not be able to turn it back on until you run Black Rain on your computer again. If you do restart your device and once you enter recovery mode, iTunes will open with a message saying, iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. Whatever you do, do not restore your device in iTunes. It will automatically erase everything on it and upgrade you to the latest firmware. Make sure you use Black Rain to recover your device. Those are a few tips on your do's and don'ts. I hope this video has helped you guys. If you have any questions, please leave any comments or messages in my inbox and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I always read all of my messages. so. Just give me time and I guarantee you, you'll receive a message from me. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please subscribe. Many more videos to come.